is it that troubles you, please? I believe from your own perspective and the general perspective of the people of this community, you will agree with me that the king is not getting any younger. Of course, that is life for you and it's bound to happen. I'm listening. I think life has never been fair to me because it has reproachfully taken a wrong dimension. How do you mean? Well, if you must know, life is meaningless when it is unproductive. You have accepted the fact that I'm not getting any younger. And by so, I am drawing closer to my grave. So who will succeed me when I die? My ancestors will not be happy with me if an heir does not emerge before my demise. I understand you perfectly. But you are the one that is making these things difficult and overbearing for yourself. Am I that old that I cannot conceive anymore? You're looking at me as a barren woman and that makes me, it gives me sleepless nights. Please, my God. I am not doubting your ability to conceive. But when will that be? I can't wait to set my eyes on a child. The heir apparent to the throne of this kingdom. I invited you for us to discuss a very important issue. As a cabinet member and close friend to the king. You see, this issue of an heir to the throne of this kingdom is giving me sleepless nights and I'm not happy about it. Your Highness, you are right in what you have just said. The people of this community are no longer happy based on the tradition that if the king fails to provide a biological head to the throne, the kingship moves to the neighboring town. The tradition has always been like that, and that is why it has always come from this community. I cannot imagine this happening in my own. It will be ridiculous. It you. Yes. If I tell you that I am not bothered, it means I am the greatest liar this community has ever produced. As a close friend to the king, what do you suggest I do? Because I'm confused. Your Highness, we can no longer wait for Lola. But we don't know when it will happen. Your Highness, I suggest you go for a second wife. Yes. Jim, Your Highness. Are you sure we will succeed in this? Your Highness, there is no harm in trials. Let's do it and believe it will work. Woman? Yes. I am the king and I'm entitled to any number of women of my choice. 
Yes, you are. But certainly, not while I'm around. Rather, not while I'm still alive. Like I said, I am the king and my decision is final. I am not disputing that. I will always respect your decision. But like I said, not on this subject. If I may ask, what do you think is the solution to this problem? Your Highness, you and I know that bringing in another woman is not the best. She's going to tear our family apart. I suggest we go for an adoption. What did you say? How dare you? Do you know the consequences of what you just said? Your Highness, I knew you would flare up. It's only a suggestion. I just want you to give it a If thought. you don't shut your mouth, I will shut it for you. I called you to here to tell you that I no longer want you to walk in the king's room. No more cleaning. I don't want you to clean the king's room again. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? Your Majesty, my friend, please. You've always shown me care and love as a daughter. Now, what do I tell my parents that is the reason for being sent out of the palace? Just Far like... from that! Your Majesty, please! Please! Anyway, I must have offended you. I'm truly sorry. I have nowhere else to go to. Please! Oh, just hold up, just hold up. Get up. Two of you, stand up, stand up first. Stand up! Get up, get up, please. I am not sending two of you out of the palace. But out of the king's room. Yes. No more cleaning the king's room. Do I make myself clear? Yes, your majesty. Yes, Do I make myself clear? Yes, your majesty. You cannot go back to work. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my princess! Hi, <laughs> oh, good to see you. How was your journey? Very fine. Just came up with the <laughs> Shandam, how is this royal majesty? This is the kingdom. So you're not it's missing me? You're seeing me here, you're not saying anything about me instead asking after your father. Oh, What's that I one? Miss you more. You should know now. Come, let's go, My princess, yes, how have you been coping in school without any family member around? Well, Dad, it's not been easy, but we have to carry on. Besides, I've made lots of friends in school that I can talk to anytime. We've really become so close that I even miss them as I speak with you. <laughs> I'm so happy every time you're around, okay? And I am so glad too that you're doing very well in school. Mm, yeah, but Father, does it mean you go angry whenever I'm away? <laughs> Not really. It's just that I miss your company. We miss you. <laughs> yeah, we both miss your company. So how is Royal Majesty doing? As you can see, I am doing marvelously well. <laughs> Thank you. Live long, my king. My queen, food is served. It's okay. Thank okay. You. Can we go to the table? Sure. Of course, mom. <laughs> I'm really missing where I'm in. Wow, you've got to have it now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>
idea of bringing in another woman. Wait, wait, wait. What did she say is Arise? Ichi, I am very surprised myself. You know what really baffles me? Her idea of an adoption. You mean Lolo suggested to you that you should go for a male adoption? Does she know the calamity she wants to bring upon this community? Your Highness, I am very sorry to say this. Your wife does not mean well either for you or the entire community. I am very disappointed in her suggestion. Ichi, I am totally confused myself about this whole thing. And it is giving me sleepless nights. It has really embattled me. Please tell me, what do I do? Very well then. If she seems not to accept peacefully, then I think she will accept forcefully. I cannot sit and watch the kinship that has always been in this community disappear into thin hair just like that. Never! Not in my own time. Hey, brother. Hmm? What can you say about the Igwe's inability to give us an heir to the throne? You will agree with me that he uh, is not getting any younger. That is correct. And you know what that means? If he's not able to do so before he joins his ancestors. Yes. I'm yes. really worried. My brother, this is a salient issue. Do you know, I have thought about it from all angles, but I couldn't figure any fact. Hmm? Igwe Jemba has always been an upright person, a man of integrity. Another way this will come to do with Okay. Do you think that we are excluded? We are not. From what? Because the consequences <laughs> will affect every member of this town, this community. So, eh? You know, if one finger touches the oil, it affects the others. So, I'm really worried. Hmm, yes, so the adage goes. But when you wash the fingers, eh? When you wash the fingers, the others won't be affected. Let us just hope that before he joins his ancestors, there will be an heir. That is it, Ikedi. That is it, you are right there. Because it baffles me each time I realize it. I'm really disturbed. Only I just you. hope that something happens. Mm. The, the, the gods of the land will surely do something. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it is not an issue to be, I mean, to, to, to try to have us. Mama, you still have not told me why you haven't been doing your duty. My dear, I've kept it hidden. But if you ask me, I will tell you that there is no problem. The Queen Mother restricted Rebecca and I from our duty post. What for? Or did anything get mixed in that would have warranted the restriction? I wouldn't know. I'm confused about this new development. All, All I, I know is that my hands are clean. clean. I didn't steal anything. But I don't think this has to do with missing items. The Queen Mother I know will go straight to the point rather than beating around the, around the bush. Are you sure? You know you are not the only one in that post. You should be talking about yourself. You know, people can easily get into something terrible these days. is totally out of the question. I have made my decision. She is coming into this palace. You are the king of this town and I respect your decision a lot. Whereby you don't accept my own opinion, it becomes a problem. And that is what we are facing right here. I don't give a damn about your opinion because it is preposterous. You have no right whatsoever to question my decision or my authority in this palace. I am your wife. I am still your wife. 
So I have the right. She is not coming into this palace. Read my lips. Read my lips. She is coming in whether you like it or not. Mom, I've heard your dad shouting. Hope all is well. Yes, there's no problem. We're just trying to uh, iron out some things. There's no problem at all. Hmm? Go and have a good night's sleep, my princess. Okay, good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Good night, my princess. Valley of every child is the same mode. What an female will begin with. Not this simple, let me get to you. Oh, your highness. My princess. Um, I can see you're good to go. Yes, father. Um, Dad, I really had much time with Boti and Mom. But please do take care of yourself. I will. We also want you to do the same. Take care of yourself. Study hard and come out in flying color. Thanks, Father, for the advice. It's all right. It's all right, my princess. Let's go. Okay, Father. Bye. <laughs> Your Highness, please, I beg you, try to understand my own point. I am not being stiff-headed. I'm only trying to be positive on what may happen to this palace if it happened your own way. Please. Woman, there is no amount of persuasion that will make me want to partake in such an illicit act. Another woman must come for an heir to emerge if I die. The esteem of this town will be thrown into disorder if an heir does not emerge. That is why I am fighting so hard to make sure that it doesn't happen, let alone in my own reign. My king, please try to understand my... I am not ready to listen to any reason that you have to give. The king has spoken and so shall it be. I'm just trying to... Woman, at this time the king does not want his solitude to be interrupted. I advise you leave now. Highness, are you asking me out of your presence? It is a simple sentence that requires a simple understanding. Thank you. decided to bring her home as my second wife. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Ma. My queen. The queen of Asia in the kingdom. I appreciate. I expect you to show her respect at all times mm. as the first wife to the king. I want both of you to always show love and respect to one another in order to give good example to those out there in the community. Your Highness, if you don't have any other subject to talk about, considering the urgency of this invitation, I plead to be upstairs. Well, I don't have anything other than the introduction, so you are free to go, my dear. You're now part of this royal family.
queen? I said, where are you going? My queen, I don't understand the meaning of your words. Don't give me that look. Don't even look at me that way. Pretender. You think I don't know? I was aware from the beginning. From the beginning, I knew everything. I still do not understand you. Can you make it more clearer to me? How can you understand? Don't tell me. How can you understand when your feelings and emotion are not involved? You finally succeeded in luring you to take a second wife, thereby subjecting me to nothing in this palace and in the kingdom at large. But let me tell you one thing. He who neglects the good deed of a good mother should also remember that he or she is born of a woman. And your own mother is not exceptional. You know, no? No. My friend, are you accusing me of... Uh, don't, don't, don't open your mouth to say anything. Because I am not here to exchange words. Of people came before. They want to see the king. Get out. The king is hot around. Mua. Mba Mua, get out! Okay, you want to come and kill the king so that you'll be the next mba, king. Mba, 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 mba. The entire village will hear it. Everybody will hear you that you are a killer. Stupid man. Rubbish! My queen, you sent for me. Yes. Sit. Sit, my darling. Um, yes. Actually, I invited you here so I can apologize for my actions a few days ago. I was not really in the mood. That was why I was a little bit harsh. I'm sorry. Accept my apology. My queen, it was obvious from the tone of your voice, but I hold no grudges. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the understanding. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. And um, I think as the queen of the spouse, I officially welcome you into the royal family. You are welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much, my queen. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, one more thing. I will need your maximum cooperation. No discrimination at all. After all, we are now one. <laughs> your Majesty, I promise to abide by all of your rules. It's all right. You're so beautiful. You cannot go to your room. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Majesty, the Queen of his Zulu Kingdom. Who am I unto? Oh, yes, yes, she's my daughter. Seek? How? When? Oh, doctor, please, please, do take care of her. Take good care of her, I'll be there those minutes. Please. I told that by one of the maidens that you need to see me watching. Yes, I did. I want you to go to Ichi on the world's house and tell him that Igwe would like to have a meeting with him. It's one hour time. At your service, my lord. Oh, my king! My king! I just got a call now. 
man that the princess is sick. And as we speak, she's in the hospital. I need to go there and check on her. Yes. The princess in the hospital? Yes, my king. And my make king. sure. I will. Albert! Make sure she's being treated in the house. I will. Driver! Where is this boy? Please drive carefully. Driver! I can't believe this. I can't believe that you will stoop so low to indulge in such an illicit act. At this age, you disappoint me big time. Hi! Hey! Please forgive me, mother. I believe I must have been carried away by his affection. No, 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 shut up. Shut up your mouth. What affection are you talking about that you don't get in the royal family? Princess. Why are you a princess for crying out loud? And we've always treated you like one. Why did you choose to drag the name of the royal family to the rubble? Why? I will not forget you this in a hurry. Mother. Please forgive me, Mother. I know that my condition must have twisted the royal prestige. But, Mother, you need to help me out here so that Father won't find out about this. Please, Mother. I'm still your daughter, please. Who is responsible? His name is Chris. A friend in school. So where can we find him? In the agency. Start talking or you want me to slap you? Mother is out of the country. His, his uncle took him along to finish his studies overseas. Hey! Princess, so he put you in a family way and took to his heels. Ebo, 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 you disgust me, princess! Hey! Ebo, 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 Anuboko. Ebo, Atolo. Princess. Yes, ma'am. I want to go back to the palace. Let me see how I can talk to your father about this. Okay, ma'am. I will drop some money with the management. In case you need anything, they will see to it. Okay? Yes, ma'am. If I tell you, say I know they miss you. See me, I don't deny. Cause he don't take away, I don't de miss you. My love, my love. Oh yeah, I don't deserve you. No, I don't deserve you. Everything I have done so wrong. But if you give me a second chance. I'm gonna make it all feel so right I'm tired of being alone Thinking about the only one for me But I cannot be alone I just wanna hold you right in my arm Baby, where you belong I'm sure I'm sorry. My princess, how could you have gotten yourself in such a mess? My king, please, sitting here lamenting is not the best. I think what we need to do now is to put our heads together and know the way forward. There's no other way than termination. That pregnancy has to be terminated before she ruins the reputation of this royal family. She's a complete disappointment to this royal family. You have an idea. 
You are right. Yes, at least she is going to recover and go back to school. But the question here is, where do we do that? Within or outside Nigeria? I don't care where. All I want is the pregnancy terminated. You are a woman and you know the best way to go about it. I would do just that. Yes. Um, Tony. Yes, my lord. Go and ensure that the food is ready. The queen is on her way back. All right, my lord. Oh, my God. You are welcome back. Wow, your highness. The queen of the Zulu kingdom. Thank so, you so much. Good to see you. Thank you, my husband. I should be in my room. I'll be with you shortly. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> Now the other rich child is the same old Where the now female A milk begin Now the same bullet they get to you Now the same bullet they get to you Now the same future they get to you And they turn and get a good and one I suggest you go see the doctor since you're feeling weak physically. I've taken some medication. I'll be fine. But if you persist, I'll go and see a doctor. Well, if you think so, it's okay. But how do you feel now? Better. I just spoke to the princess a few minutes ago. How is she? She's fine. But she knows she's always exhibiting that remorseful feeling about her ill deeds every time I speak with her. Yeah, not as much. As a teenager, she will always be remorseful. You need to go see the doctor. There is no doubt that everything went well because your countenance says it all. <laughs> How is my princess doing? Your Highness, everything went well. And the princess is doing pretty good. The doctor confirms it, though he said the princess needs some rest. That's why I didn't come back with her. Are you sure she's going to cope with your absence? <laughs> your Highness, she will cope. And there is a good news that I can't wait to let out. That's why I am back. Good news? Please, I'm all ears. Guess. You know I'm not good with guessing. No, you have to guess. <laughs> Just drop the, drop the good news. I'm not good in guessing. Our people say that the patient dog eats the fattest boy. And you know that patience is a virtue. There is something that you've always wished for. And that has finally come. <laughs> My Lolo, you're speaking in parables. Please drop the good news. Okay. It's okay. The beautiful queen of a Zulu kingdom is finally pregnant! <laughs> this calls for big time celebration. Tony! Where is Tony? Tell him to go and announce this. Finally, the heir apparent to the throne is here. How do you know he's a boy? Oh, like father, like son. <laughs> A journey of meal. Then, let me start from the fish.
I called both of you here to inform you on the latest development. You know, I restricted both of you from doing your job due to reasons known to me. But I want to tell you right now that you can go about and do your job freely. The ban is lifted. Thank you so much. Thank you, Your Majesty. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, my queen. Wes alone cannot express the joy I feel in my heart right now. You have given me reason to be happy again. Thank you so much. <laughs> Both of you are like my children, like my daughters, and I'll take you as one. <laughs> we'll forever hold you in high esteem, Queen Mother of Izu Kingdom. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. You cannot go back to your duty post. Thank you, Thank you man. Thank you. When a man succeeds in achieving his heart desire, his heart is filled with joy. Of course. But when he's still on target, the same mind can be deviated from its focus. Exactly. I realize we took a wrong step when we nurtured the idea of bringing another wife. As I speak to you, the king is overwhelmed with joy that an heir will emerge from Lola. The Queen Mother of Ezulu Kingdom. <laughs> Your Highness. I am still confused about what you have just said. Can you please make it explicit some more? One more good. You're a powerful member of this cabinet and a close friend to the king. I think it's necessary that I inform you that the Queen Mother is finally pregnant. Ah? <laughs> Your Highness. This comes for a celebration. Oh, yeah. hmm? I mean, let's allow the elders in council because something good has happened in our land. Hmm? This is what we have been waiting for so long. <laughs> I thought as much each year. But this celebration will have great impact if she's finally put to bed. So I suggest that we make our plans now and await her delivery. What do you think? Your wish is my command, Your Highness. <laughs> Who am I to say otherwise to the decision of His Royal Majesty, yes. the King of Israel Kingdom? Hmm? You have, it will be as you have just said. <laughs> you see, we can't be too close to the local wine when the foreign wine is about to come. Yeah. <laughs> the long implemented traditions of this town mm -hmm. must remain. Yes. <laughs> my ancestors, I thank you so much for making me a happy man. And I also think that our ancestors will be happy wherever they are. Because this is a dream come true. Yes. Eh? Yes. 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 Happiness, like, no, I have not heard now. Just me now. Tell me, oh my god, wow, that's good news. You know, I've been suspecting that. Like, so, you know, before, uh, I, don't I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait now. Ah, the gist has not yet finished. <laughs> Continue now. Tell me now. I can't wait to see my son. The heir apparent to the throne of Ezul Kingdom, who can now succeed me if I visit my ancestors. I told you that you're going to have a son. <laughs> yes, you're right, my dear. But you see, when a man is desperately in need of something, he will do anything. To the extent of neglecting your wife's suggestion? Come on, don't get me wrong, my dear. Have you spoken to the princess to know her state of health? Yes, I spoke with her for about an hour ago. And the 
doctor also confirmed that she's okay. Is it not time she came home so that she can continue her education? My king, I don't think it's right for us to be in a hurry for her coming back because she will always come back and face her education. We need to give her some time at least to regain her shape. Get things normal. You know, as a mother, I know what it is for one to be pregnant at a young age. Another thing, I wouldn't want you to engage yourself in any strenuous activity because the medians are here to take care of it. <laughs> My king, I'll be fine. Never to come back here again. Did I make myself clear? Please. Check her out. I just want to feel his presence. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> he will always be here for you. I just can't wait to carry my son in my hands. All the same, let him know that I'm anxiously waiting for his arrival. <laughs> to receive him like a goalkeeper. <laughs> he has heard you. Really? That is good. 
good. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hennis, I have to go upstairs and relax. I think I need some rest. Okay, uh, let me accompany you. Oh, no, don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll be fine, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you doing with those dishes? No, no, no. Alright, um, okay, okay. Um, the queen just informed me that she's terribly hungry, so I don't know, just hasten up, okay? Uh, what is it? Have you noticed anything in the queen's attitude of late? Mm -hmm. Noticed? No, I haven't noticed anything, so what's the problem? She of voice of relax. What is your case? So you're telling me that you've not noticed? Anything about the case pregnancy. Today has to move for you and to move it to lesson. So you've not noticed. My dear, I have not noticed anything. So now, how did you know about this? Please go and play. Go and go, just go and go and continue what you're doing. Do you know what to What is the problem? What is your problem? Go, 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 go. It's okay. So you know. You said this is your talk, eh? This gossip, no level at all. You don't get head, you don't get it. Go this way. Go See, I have never got to forgive you. I know you. That's your business. I didn't see nothing in a good tongue. I greet you, my queen of Azuli Kingdom. How are you, my dear? I'm fine, my queen. My heart rejoices when it, whenever I see you, my queen. And my heart re rejoices more whenever I see you in this condition. How do you mean? My queen, it's about your pregnancy. Yes, my queen. Please, permit me to make a suggestion. Please. For what is it? Can you please see your doctor? Please. For what? Pregnancy is unstable. Will you get out of here? Get out! Five months, I announced this pregnancy to the king. Does it mean I am not smart enough to have noticed that I almost implicated myself? Hell, oh. hey, hmm. oh. I have to be very careful. that nobody will suspect anything. Hi! Any reason for that? My Highness. She must have noticed something about the way you drive. Listen, you are hired in this palace as a driver and not to be given flimsy excuses. You know the Queen's condition. Yes, sir. Just pray that nothing happens to her. But Your Highness. Shut up! I don't want to hear any more words from you. Albert, 
How did you say it happened? <laughs> My brother, I was inside the car waiting for her, as ordered by the king. When she came out and asked me the keys to the car, I have the option not to give her the keys. I don't know where I have, I have gone wrong. Wait, did you just hear it yourself? As ordered by the king, that word order. Do you know if I were you, at that point I would have run back to the king and report the situation to him before taking your decision. Now, I'm very sorry, you. I really don't know what you expect me to advise you on this point. What you just have to do is to pray that she returns back safe and nothing happens to her. That's my prayer. That's my only prayer. I don't want anything to happen to the queen. Uh, well, to me, I will advise you pray and fast throughout today. Any food they give to you, just pass it to me. You know? Uh, at least, let me be eating and be praying with you. Just place yourself on fasting today. What will happen to her? She will come back safe. Why are you looking at me like that? It's just an advice. If you don't want to, no problem. I'm just advising you. that you drove yourself to the hospital. Why? Eh? The driver is paid to do his job. So you shouldn't have done that knowing your state of health. I'm sorry, Your Highness. It's just that I have my reasons. And I wouldn't want anybody to wait for me. Besides, you may want to go out. Who is going to take you? But you know I always go out with Tony whenever the driver is away. I'm sorry about that. It's not happening again. Please. Let it not repeat itself, because I was so bothered when I knew about it. Anyway, how did you go? That said I'm fine. And I know boy is kicking strong. I know he'll be strong in there just like his father. <laughs> <laughs> so that hmm? I need to go upstairs and rest. And rest your bones and that of my son too. Hey, thank you. Tony, my lord, go and tell Albert that he will be escorting the queen to the airport tomorrow alongside two other guards. All right, my lord. I'll be a very rich child of the same mold. Whether now female or male begin, not the same blood they get to you. Not the same blood they get to you. My queen, may you never experience loneliness in your delivery. The king and the entire royal household where you belong will protect and guide you, both in spiritual and physical. Go in peace, and the heir appointed to the throne will be brought back also in peace. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, my king. Your words inspired me so much. And I want you to be rest assured that I will be there. Your Highness, I'm ready. I'll look good. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> to have her baby. Me too, I'm happy. But there are many hospitals in this, hus in this town. Why then did she choose to be in to go abroad to deliver her baby? Your question is inconsequential. My own happiness. 
is that the people of this kingdom are expecting their heir. And that is where me too I stand. Ha. After all these things, what if baby turn out to be shit? Why are you saying something like that? I'm really surprised. When you know that the king and the people of this community are expecting the heir to the throne of Ezulu Kingdom, Kesey Kisi are like this. What do you want me to say? It is in the hands of a man to propose, but certainly it lies in the hands of God to execute. I think you're right. Seriously. God knows that this community will lose its prestige. If it turns out to be I just pray they heal. Because it's not we don't need a ship this time around. Yeah, I pray so. Uh, I hope so. I name my chat. Abe more yes, go. Go we there go. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I can't wait for the Lord Lord to come back with a new born baby. Hmm. Do you know what that means for the Igbo and the entire community? To be celebration all true. <laughs> My dear, now I know that every circumstance has an experiment. Yes, so the king would have never believed that Lolo is still giving an issue. Now see, is it not happening? It has happened. Eh? But seriously, eh, what baffles me most is the fact that the Lola has not called the Igwe up until now. Mm. What could the problem be? What could make her not contact the Igwe even till now? I feel for the king right now because he has been thrown in the state of confusion. Hmm. Ah, maybe she has complications over there. What did you say? Yes, ma'am. Be mindful of your words. Don't even allow the king to hear this from you. If not, you'll be punished severely. Don't even think about it. Let alone say it out. It's a matter of fact, I'm done with this conversation. I need to sleep. Hey. So now you need to sleep. Yes, sir. Wait, 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 wait. My discussion now with you has made you want to go and sleep, Abby. She? Before I come. Okay, now. I see that you will pick it before. I can't give you. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sleep today. It's a good moment. This is His Royal Highness, the King of the Zulu Kingdom. May I know who I'm onto? Oh my God! I can't believe this. Please, please, can I speak with her? Okay, in one hour's time, I must definitely call her. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor, for the good news. Thank you. <laughs> My ancestors, I know you will always be beside me. Huh? Finally, the people of Ezulu Kingdom will have an heir to the throne. This is a dream come true. Once again, you are welcome to my palace. I summon this meeting so I can share the piece of good news with all of you. We all know the tradition of the Zulu Kingdom that when the royal family is not able to produce an heir, the kingship shifts to the next kingdom. But today, the king is happy to announce to you that the Queen Mother of the Zulu Kingdom has finally delivered an heir to the throne. This is news. Good news. <laughs> My people, I greet you. Mm. <laughs> it is said that when the appropriate time for a particular thing comes, it must be made manifest. Yes. Oh, yeah. mm. <laughs> I pour out my heart full of joy to the people of Ezulu Kingdom for this good news. And to say that it has never happened in the history of Ezulu Kingdom that the tradition is changed. Mm -hmm. And it will not be in our time that it will happen. Mm -hmm. 
He said. Yes. He said. He said. Your Highness. My father once told me that whenever there is life, there is hope. Sorrow may come at night, but joy comes in the morning. Mm. Your Highness, to cut the shot, hmm? I am so overwhelmed that I am alive today to see it happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your Majesty, honestly, if we are to continue to pour out our happiness, mm. pour out our happiness for the kingdom over this incident, eh? It means a day might not be enough for us to do it because it will continue to flow like river nature. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, when are we to see the prince, our prince, the prince, the, the prince that, has, that we have gotten? Where are we to see? Him? Because I think we should be equally be bothered about that. Yes. That's true. Look, we all have spoken very well. We spoken very well. Uh, Ikedi here made another point. Our Royal Highness has broken the news to us, the good news to us. But another point is, when shall we see the Prince so that our joy could be complete? I believe I've made, I've made a good point. Uh, you've said it. Yeah. You've said it. I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for your kind words so far. It shows one thing, that you are all happy about the good news. Oh, yes. <laughs> As for when the prince will come back to the kingdom, you will all be communicated to that effect. But I want to assure all of you that there is going to be a big celebration in this kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> Where <are> your mind? <laughs> Jemba 3 is here. Tony, my lord. You know this calls for a big celebration. Yes, my lord. Go out there and arrange all the arrangements. <laughs> Food, drinks, make sure everything is inside. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
Oh, mom, you're looking so beautiful. Really? Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, my darling. My princess, Father. tell me all about it. All your experiences while you were abroad studying. Um, my stay at first was kind of a little bit terrible. You know, the cold and then people getting to accept you. Um, with time, does that mean making friends, people accepting you for who you are? But at some point in time, things got better. I mean, I made friends and then schooling was beautiful. I mean, it was perfect. Good. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> My happiness is that you're finally done with it. And you're back home in one piece. Thank you, Dad. But my princess, now that you're back home, I want you to start something. Like get a job. Exactly. Okay, Father. Yeah. I actually thought about that. But um I think I would want to stay here. I mean, around this vicinity to get a job. At least to be closer to you and mom. <laughs> I'll go with you on this one. Thank you, Mom. At least this is the right time to be around you. Thank you very much, Mom. <laughs> if that is what you want, my princess, your wish is my command. Oh, thank you, Father. I am so grateful. You're thank welcome. you for You're everything. Welcome. <laughs> you know, this calls for big time celebration. Of oh, course, I mean, it's been such a long time. Yes, we will, we will celebrate it. Yes. Am I speaking with the director of Grand Petrol Chemical Industry Limited? Well, this is His Royal Majesty, Igwe Ojemba of Ezulu Kingdom. I want to ask you for a little favor. For my daughter, the princess, to be absorbed in your company as a staff. Oh, yes. She came out with first class, and she studied abroad too. <laughs> what do you expect from a royal princess? Thank you very much. You see, this shows that our relationship is still very much intact. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. So tell me, how has it been, I mean, in school without your sister? Anyway, I, I have been trying my best, but it hasn't been easy, you know. Well, it was like that for me at first when I started. You know, well, with time, I'm sure you're going to get this to it. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. The Prince of Izulu came down. Yes, mother, and as you can see, the prince and the princess of Izulu Kingdom are having a very platonic conversation and wouldn't want to be interrupted. Wow, but I am not here to interrupt. I'm here to announce to you both that the dining table is set. So shall we? <laughs> yes, we shall. Thank you. Wow. Give some, some, some good you guys are looking good, Joe. Thank you, oh, really? Oh, well, I'm fine. And your exams, how's it going? Oh, really? <laughs> okay, well, I'm doing just fine. It's alright, I'll do that. Okay, you take care too. And don't forget to call me when you're done with your exams, is that clear? <laughs> it was a joke. Bye. <laughs> Come on, sis. Do you realize that you're distracting me? <laughs> oh, gosh. I failed it. Oh, uh, really? I shouldn't talk again because you're playing games. I don't understand you. Mind the way you talk to me. 
I am the prince of this kingdom. You okay. have to accord some respect to me. I am the king of this kingdom. You have to accord some respect. I fail to realize that I am the princess of this kingdom. You what do you say if I take this phone from you now? You have your quarters. You better go back to your quarters. Come, I don't understand. What, what is your problem? Hello. Hello. Oh, mom, you're here. What's going on? Nothing, <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, mom. <laughs> don't tell me two of you are about to fight. No, we are not. Mom, you really have to talk to my elder sister. I don't like the way she instructs me. Oh. But us. Don't you realize that you are sitting before the prince of a Zulu kingdom? Oh, yes. oh I totally forgot. I'm so sorry, the <laughs> prince of a Zulu kingdom. Oh, I mean, your highness. <laughs> That's my mother. Okay. It's okay. I know what happens No, to you're still the best. You're still the best. Love you. Love you too, mom. I'll be upstairs, okay? okay Let's talk to you guys. Take care, mom. Okay, okay. bye. If not for the fact that you're my elder sister, you wouldn't be here. You know that, right? Oh, really? And that doesn't stop me from still drawing your ears because I'm your elder sister. Is that clear? <laughs> <laughs> You're charming. <laughs> As I asked for. They're here. Oh. Thank you. Yes, please come. Um, I'm stepping out for lunch, yeah? Just in case anybody comes around to look for me, let the person drop the message with you. I'll be back in a jeep. Okay. Right. okay. Right. Thank you. I'm very sorry, all right? Sorry for invading your privacy, okay? Um, my name is Nick, and you? Well, I'm Princess. I can see you walk here. Well, I, I'm into estate management, right? And I do most of my transactions uh, in the office close to yours. I've seen a couple of times walk in and out of this office, so I said to myself that I would like to know this pretty, charming, adorable princess, Bella. I mean, what do you think? Well, I don't think this is the right place, neither is it the right time. 
um, as you can see, I'm going out for something very important. Maybe some other time. All right, sorry, uh, please, pardon my manners, okay? So do you have a business card or something for you? Um, I don't think that's necessary, like I said, so good. Good day, my beautiful princess. Good day. And how may I help you? I thought I should be offered a seat first. No, not at all. Why? Because if offered a seat could bring forth a subject which I am not ready to give a listening ears to. So I suggest you say it's standing. I'm still waiting. Come on, my princess. Um, seriously, I thought courtesy demands you. You don't teach me about courtesy. Because I have perfect understanding of what courtesy is. In most cases, my dear, courtesy doesn't really count. Because if given a chance, it could send the wrong words to the right ears. And that is exactly what I am trying to avoid right now. Well, Princess, I think you're being so fast in decision making, and that's not fair. <laughs> well, bro, life itself is not fair. I already know what you want to say, and my answer still remains the same. I am not interested. Uh, well, uh, Princess, I guess you're not in the right frame of mind to discuss now, but seriously, I promise to make it up to you later. Today. How about the lunch? I'm still not interested. Thank you. Well, 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 I think it was not in the right frame of mind. So, I have to take my leave and hope to see you some other time. Probably when you're in a better frame of mind, right? Have a nice day.
Okay. You are welcome. <laughs> Let me say seriously, don't well for yourself. Oh, really? Gosh, your no. heart is beautiful. Thank you, my love. <laughs> As the daughter of the king, what do you expect? My father has always stood by me from the on. Ooh, yeah, from the <laughs> onset. So that compliment should go to him. You're right, you know. Yes, you're right. <laughs> so, tell me, how have you been coping since our post-primary education? My dear, it, it's been tough here in Nigeria. Ever since our years in the university, I've been going from one office to the other, looking for a job. And nothing seems to be coming out of it. Success is for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. So there's this one I'm trying to get hooked to it. Let's see what happens at last. Oh, I see. Well, I hope something good comes out of this one. <laughs> Amen, oh my dear. Amen. Oh. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me you stay here all alone in this house? Without a million to help you out? Yes, I stay all alone. I specifically told my father that I want to be alone. I mean, so at least I could get used to the house chores. My darling, I will be married someday. How do I explain to my husband my inability to cook, to clean? I mean, I keep the house tidy. <laughs> you have a point, Yes. <laughs> well, my darling, you're welcome to my house anytime, any day. I'm saying that you should make this place your second home. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much for the work you said. Oh, <laughs> try calm. Thank you. Okay, we need chairs to more life, yeah, happiness. <laughs> so tell me, how has it been? Um, I mean, you know, life and all. Young lady, I have gone through your file, and I must say, you have a very impressive credential. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for the compliment. You're welcome. In that regard, I'll direct you to the human resource uh, manager. So you go meet him. He'll put you through the ropes and uh, tell you what more you need to bring and tell you what is required of you. I would love to tell you that you have been offered employment on probation though with this firm. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Oh, you can hurry up and meet him in the office okay? so you can get to work. So you mean you got the job after all? Yes, my love. I couldn't believe it myself. After going through my CV, he gave me the appointment automatically. Oh. This has been my heart desire and thank God I made it at last. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, you know that. This is for celebration. Okay. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. I'm sorry, I don't remember giving you an invitation to my office. And how did you get into my office without my secretary notifying me? Well, uh, I had to lie to her that I had an appointment with you so she could let me in. And do you know this silly attitude of yours could actually cost her her job? I mean I could fire her. Oh, come on, my princess. I should be blamed for it, alright? Not her. Okay? Um, don't forget so soon that... Uh, I've visited this office quite a number of times and my face doesn't seem hostile to her anymore. You have to seek your consent before letting me in. Well, Nick, or whatever you are called, what exactly do you want? A launch date with my princess and I'm okay. And I told you that I am not interested. I mean, why have you failed to understand this? Now listen to me. This girl you see sitting right here, it's not, I mean, we'll never be ready for you. So I suggest you jump to the next girl like you men always do and leave me alone. Oh, princess, I take an exception to that. Listen, Mr. Nick, you are invading my solitude and I find that very unacceptable. As you can see, before you walked in here, my friend and I were having a very important discussion and we would like to continue. So, Princess, are you by any chance asking me to leave your office? I wouldn't want to repeat myself. Alright, um, I will leave, but uh, I want you to have it at the back of your mind that I care about you. 
And I also want you to have it at the back of your mind that I would not reciprocate your care. So leave me alone. See you some other time. Stop touching me. Bye. And what do you mean, bye? He's so cute. <laughs> Just think, who was that? One of those silly boys that always after girls, you know, then you jump into your life and jump out and leave you have broke. But babe, seriously, that was rude. Did I hear you say rude? Yes. Well, my dear, I don't give heed to your advances anymore. You know why? Because this attitude of theirs just reminds me of the past. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I understand, but please, you have to put yourself together, okay? Please.
Yeah, no, me. How are you today? Oh, fine, my dear. And you? Uh, well, I'm good. I've been out of the office. Uh, yes, I'm just coming back from a business transaction I went to execute. All right. <laughs> uh, well, do you mind hanging out with me for lunch? Hmm. <laughs> Why not? Okay, no problem. See you then. Okay, that's great. I'll come pick you up then. Alright, see you. And be good. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Do I know you? Are, are you not princess? Of course I'm princess then. Who are you? Oh my god, it's you! My princess, Kony, my princess. How are you doing today? Chris, what kept you so long? My princess, I'm so sorry. You know, we, we had test that kept us still this time. You know, and I came back late, so I had to sneak out so that my uncle would not notice. No, I'm, I'm sorry, my princess. Please now put a smile on this face. Mm, smile now. Sorry. Sorry, my princess, smile. Ah! Oh, wow! Eh? That is why you are called the princess. Okay, one more, one more, one more, please. Let me stop. That's enough. Babe. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> My princess, I'm really sorry for keeping you waiting. I'm sorry. So, tell me, how was your stay with uh, your Royal Highness and people in the palace. It was fine. And as a matter of fact, I had a sore time with them. Uh -huh. And he needed to be there, Chris. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, don't worry, my princess. I promise next time, I'll make it up to you. Yes. I really missed you, my princess. I really missed you. Okay, so I'm here. What do you have for me? What do I have for you? Mm -hmm. Anything. Everything that can make my princess smile and happy, I will do it. So tell me... Something like what? Something like... Uh -huh. Oh, that smile. <laughs> I love that smile. I love okay, that stop smile. stop it, please. You won't stop making it. Yes. Listen to me, my princess. If seeing you smile all the time will make me happy, I will... <laughs> I'll continue to be a funny boy. This <laughs> time. So, what? What next? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really missed you, my princess. Mm -hmm. I really missed you more. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I okay. want to do something to you now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That thing you usually do to me, like oh, and I'll do it again. Oh. <laughs> Since you had better stop shedding these tears of yours and tell me what transpired between you and my GM few hours back. I mean, I, I came out only to see you running. 
What really happened? I... <laughs> oh my God. Please talk to me. What really happened? When, when I saw Chris, I, I couldn't believe it. Oh you had better believe it. And tell me who he is to you. Who? He says, can you talk to me? Talk to me. Who? That, that is the same guy. Guy. That, the same guy that, 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 that impregnated me when, when I was still a teenager. No. No. This is an expensive joke. Come on. Princess, this is an expensive joke and I'm not cut out for it. Tell me, I am not joking. I am serious. I was Chris. You mean? My, my, my boss? Yes. You can't be serious. Yes, I am serious. I mean, I, I... No, no, no. Oh, no, you can't be serious. It's the same person, the same man. The same person I, I told you about. That's Chris. That's Chris. The same, the same. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, princess. Come on. That's okay. Come on. Let me take it to your home. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. Just calm down. Okay? Please. Okay. Alright. As it stands now, what do you intend to do? Used. I, I don't even know what to say. I don't. Well, I, I suggest, I suggest you should, you should give him a listening ear and know what he has got to say. I will never see him. Tell me that that guy disappointed me. He, he he drained me emotionally. I, I, I won't forget that in a hurry. Never. See, my dear, you have to let go of the past so he doesn't haunt you forever. The future is so bright, you have to focus on it. Please. Mommy, can I ask you for a favor? Yes, yes. Anything. Please. On no account should you disclose my office address or my house address to him. I never want to see him in my life. 
I know, I know he will pressurize you into giving him details about me. But please, I beg you. I beg you for whatever you hold dear. Never give him information about me. Please. It's okay. No problem. Okay? I will do that. No problem. Sir, you sent for me. Yes, Naomi, please. Um, do you know Princess? I mean, the lady you saw me with the other time. Well, sir, I, I wouldn't say I know her. I, I only came in contact with her when I was still looking for a job. And it happened she was also looking for a job too. We, we became acquainted with each other. Not that I know her too well, sir. Do, 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 you, do you at least have her number? No, sir, I don't. But she visits you. Sir, maybe someone else, not me. I don't think going about it this way is the best idea. Because ever since that incident, he has not given up on his inquiries towards you. So what do you suggest I do? I suggest you should see him and sort out things and make it happen. Oh, Naomi. I can't see Grace. I mean, he's full of lies and, and disappointment. Chris deceived me because I was still young in age. Truth be told, seeing Chris would, I mean, seeing him now would remind me of, of the bad experience I had. And I don't want it. What do you suggest I should do? Keep on lying to him? Of course not. I want peace. That's why I want peace to reign between both of you. Oh, Naomi, if this is the first time I'm going to disobey you, then let it be. I'm sorry, I have to move on. I can't see him. I can see that your mind is already made up. There is no problem. It's just that I was just trying to help. And also protect my job. Oh, Naomi, you just have to try. You have to. And trust me, I'm certain with time you'll get her out of her skin. Let's just let this be, please. Okay. No problem. Let's hope so. Let's just hope so. Yes. Ooh, Naomi. Please sit. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I... I have come to make a very serious request from you. With all pleasure, sir. You see, I have this feeling that you, you are very close with Princess. And you know her whereabouts. So I've come to plead with you to kindly let me know where I can find her. Frankly speaking, sir, I do not know her whereabouts. And that's just the truth about it. You have to believe me. But do, 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 you, do you know if she actually stays in this town or something? So at least I'd have hope that someday I'll run into her. Um, um sir. I think she stays in this town, but we didn't really go into details on the exact place. <sighs> okay, but please I beg you, if you come across her anywhere at any time, do let me know, okay? 
Ok, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Alright, I can get back to work. <laughs> ok, sir. Oh yeah, I don't deserve you No, I don't deserve you Everything I have done so wrong But if you give me a second chance hey, I'm gonna make it all feel so right oh, I'm tired of being alone Thinking about the only one for me But I cannot be I wanna hold you right in my arm Baby, where you belong I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm sorry, I'm sorry Please forgive me, forgive me If I tell you, say I don't do me sin Would you turn around and come to me? If I tell you, say I no go leave you Would you hold me tight in your arms? Even heaven name bears witness I have done everything to walk away from you But the more I try, the more we tangle Securing a job for you elsewhere. I will try my best. But please, I beg you, don't disclose my identity or my whereabouts to him, please. Okay. And, um, madam, there is a man out there. He said he wants to see you. Did he tell you his name? Yes, ma. He said his name is Connors. And I asked if there's any previous appointment. He said no. I just come into your office for the first time. It's all right. Let him in. Okay. Babes, don't you think for both of you to be in the same town? Simply means you can accidentally bump into him. Someday. Well, my darling, until then. Yes. 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 I'm begging you for you have to me in the past. Naomi, what is the meaning of this? I... Let me finish. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a plan game or what? Seriously, I... I didn't know he was... He was coming here. Seriously. I didn't know. How did you get in here in the first place? I... I followed Naomi. I, 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 my instinct told me she knew your whereabouts and I, and I thrilled her to this place. She has nothing to do with it, honestly. So what do you want from me? I want you back in my life. I may have aired, but all those things were beyond, they were beyond me. Chris, it's over. I mean, it was good while it lasted, but I cannot accept you back. I mean, not after all these years of distress. Don't do this to me. I'm begging you. I will change it. I'll turn a new leaf. I'll oh. make... Uh, 
Chris. Chris, you cannot turn back the hands of time. You can't. Chris, this is my office. I won't entertain this. Please just get up and leave. You can't ask me to leave your Chris. office. Chris! what love is all about but you finally subjected me to the wrong side of its experience no no I can't not after all these years not after all these years I have built back my emotions no no I can't I, I know I'm putting you in a tight corner, but believe me, I'm helpless here and I need your help. I'm sure she must have told you what transpired between us in the past, but, but I'm ready to make amends. Just tell her that she needs to give me another chance. Okay, sir. Sir, I must say a big thank you to you for your understanding over all the lies I said to you. Just me. I want you to be rest assured that I'll try my best. Please do try your best. This is very important to me. I need her to see a new me. I want to make up for everything I've put her through in the past. So, like I said, I'll try my best. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. From my observation, I think Chris has got something to tell him. I mean, all you could do is to give him a listening ear. That's all. If not that we have come a long way, I would have easily concluded that that act was premeditated between you two. I swear to God. I had no idea that Chris was coming to your office that same day. Oh, yes. Really? You overheard his explanations. I have nothing to do with it. Oh, I see. Then why are you all about us coming back together again? Why? All I want is for you to give him a chance. Give him a chance to explain himself more. Fine. And no is my answer. I have said this before and I'm saying it again. No. And the sooner you understand it, the better. Please. Are you trying to say that all my rights are in vain? I mean, that all the advices I've been giving you are all in vain. Is that what you're trying to say? Well, your advice has been taken. But accepting it, that I won't do. Come on, babes. Come on. Please, I need to think about it. Just drop the subject, please. Can we talk about something else? Hmm. My daughter. Come on, ma. Chai! You are beautiful. Thank you very you much, are mama. <laughs> Thank you. My son has told me so much about you. And I'm happy to see you. Chai! Thank no. you very much, Mama. Grace, Mama. Mama. I'm not going to wear it. 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 I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too, Mama. And I believe that, as beautiful as you, I know that 
That is how this hat Bam. is beautiful. Mm. Well, Mama, he should be the judge of that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mama. I'm happy to meet you too. I'm happy to meet you too. I'm very happy. <laughs> eh? Chris, mm? keep her company. Okay. Eh? Let me go and get you something. I'm a yeah. <laughs> My dear, Mama. just feel free. Oh. This family is your own family. If you check up on my half no part too, both inside and outside, you have seen me. <laughs> oh, you demand the power bull. I'm coming. Eh? Thank you. Your mom is so lovely. I mean, I'm in love with her already. Eh? You haven't seen anything. Just wait until you are all familiarized with her. When you get the conversation with this man, you will laugh till you roll on the floor. <laughs> I'm telling you. She's so full of lies. Yeah. Ah, that's why I always miss her anytime I'm out of this place. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Mommy's boy. <laughs> well, you know, this place is actually like it's beautiful oh my goodness i love the ring it's so beautiful you see my love if you had not given him a listening ear he couldn't have proposed to you i told you from his voice he really meant well for you now you see you can see it for yourself my darling i'm so surprised i mean after all these years we still bumped into each other and and this, he proposed to me, I, I don't know Naomi, but it feels like I'm dreaming. It's not just a dream, but a reality. My dear, you're supposed to be happy that he's still the man in your life. Come on! <laughs> I know Naomi, but there's no but. There's no but in this. You have to be happy. Come on! You have to be happy. You... Yeah. You think so? My dear, as a matter of fact, I do not think so, but I believe so. The past can easily be erased since he's the same man. The beginning is not all that matters, but the end point. So come on. Thank you so much. Thank you for your words of encouragement. I am so grateful. Thank you. You owe me. Yes. I owe you. What? Of course. What is it? Do you want my engagement? No, please. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. So what do you want? Please. You owe me. I owe you what? Okay, tell me. I'm listening. Have you forgotten? Okay. You want my man, right? Be careful. Yes. Please. Have you forgotten? I have my own man. Of course man. I know you have your man. I so what is my it you own. want? <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, what is it you want? Okay. I'll be your chief bridesmaid. Oh, really? Yes. yes. Um, what if I tell you that I already have someone to do that for me? Eh? I will just kill you. Okay, that was a joke. I it was, was a joke. <laughs> But of course you are I'll going to be my chief bridesmaid. Oh. I mean, you made everything happen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh -huh. My yeah. friend is getting married. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, mom. Goodbye, it's okay, no problem. So, tell your father what you told me yesterday night in your room. My princess, wow. I am waiting for the good news. I'm all ears. Okay, I know. You have just been promoted in your office. I won't be surprised because I know Patrick will do it for my sake. You need to see how close Patrick and I were in our university days. 
we are very close. Mm. So I won't be surprised if he gives you a promotion. Well, Father. <clears throat> the news I have brought to you and Mom is far better than what you're talking about right there. Okay. <laughs> well, Father. Your princess has finally been proposed to. Is that the news you've been holding back? <laughs> yeah. This is good news indeed. Yes. It's an overwhelming news. Yes, Father. You know, my princess, let me seize this opportunity to tell you that I'm so proud of you. And you took the best decision of your life. Thank you very much, Dad. I mean, I'm proud of you too. You know, I'm so happy I did not disappoint you and Mom before settling down. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you, you are the best. Thank you, Mom. And with you. So, let's forget the past and move on. Okay. Absolutely. Let's look forward to the future and see what it holds for us. Yes, exactly. That is the best way. Once again, congrats. Thank you. <laughs> this call. So, I'm joining the league very soon. This call for uh, celebration. But yes. when, when do we get to meet this young man? Well, Dad, I actually thought about telling you and Mom before bringing him to the house. So, um, now that I've given you the information, he'll be here to see you soon. Good. That's we'll good. Be, we'll be expecting him. <laughs> All right, Father. Thank you. <laughs> the best thing that has happened to me in this life. I'm so glad you came into my life. It all started like a joke as kids and teenagers, but here we are today, not just as lovers, but as husband and wife. <laughs> and I'm so glad you're the mother of my children, and it gives me joy. Thank you for being mine. Frankly speaking, I'm short of words. As they say, true love never dies. Thank you so much. I love you, Emma. I love you too. Come here. <laughs> Princess, I beg you, you cannot do this to me, okay? Of course, it certainly cannot happen now that I'm about to fall in love again. I beg you, please. Listen, Nick, I understand how you feel. But, but you just have to accept it in good faith. I mean, it's neither your fault nor mine. So I wouldn't want to put blames on anybody. I beg you, Princess, please. I, princess, please, I promise you, okay? I won't go back on my word, but seriously, you're pushing me to do that right now. I'm not making you deny your words. I just need you to understand life and its attributes to human existence. I mean, it's, it's so unfortunate that all this is happening now that I'm about to give you a chance. But, truth be told, he's the reason I have actually been turning down your words for a while. I just need you to understand this. Please. Please. Princess, please, I beg you. I mean, what has he done not worth? No, Nick, Nick, you, you don't understand this at all. That's not the point. I'm telling you about a man that nurtured love into me while I was still a teenager. And I mean, I'm, I'm happy to have him back. Listen to me. I promise. You will get another who will love and cherish you, okay? Oh, hi, hi darling. Mm. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. Mm. Um, sorry, <laughs> Nick. My husband to be. Nice to meet you. Same here. Uh, why, why is he walking away? Is he okay? Ah, uh, yes, he will be fine. Like I said, he's just a friend. I'm trying to call it quit, but he's been sulky all day. But don't worry, he'll be fine. I see, don't worry. Mm. Not this time. Mm. He, he'll understand. <laughs> so tell me, what are you doing here? What else am I doing here? <laughs> okay, this is my office. Like I can? 
My son, you're welcome to the palace of Ojemba family. Thank you, Your Highness. Your mission to this palace will surely be granted. Hence, it is a positive one. Once again, you're welcome to the palace. Thank you, Your Highness. I must say I'm deep, deeply grateful for you welcoming me and the warm reception and all of that. I am glad and happy to come to the palace. I'm humbled by your personality. And I must say, I appreciate every single thing you have said today. As regards what your daughter discussed with you in relationship with our plan, I have come to make a formal intent known to you that I have uh, the desire to make your daughter my wife. <laughs> well, as you can see, with a smile on everyone's face, it shows it is a genuine and happy request. My daughter here has already told me about your state of origin and what you do for a living. In addition to that, I want you to know that your request is already granted. Thank you, Highness. <laughs> Thank you very much, Father. I mean, I'm so grateful. Words alone cannot explain how happy I am. Thanks for your approval, Dad. Thank you very much. Well, my son, the gate is always wide open for every necessary traditional marriage rites to be performed. Thank you, sir. I will go back and um, be in touch with my people and we'll be here in a week. We'll be expecting you. All right. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> so where is Mom? <laughs> Hi, Cherish. Yes, I just finished shopping. <laughs> yes. It went well, darling. My God, you need to see the wedding gown. It is exceptionally beautiful. <laughs> you can say that again, my love. Yes, I'm on my way home. Okay, I will. And you take care of yourself, too. <laughs> Love you, too. <laughs> Bye. Hmm. I can see someone is completely in love now. Hmm. That's good. Okay. Do I sense some jealousy here? No. I only gave a compliment. Jealousy has got nothing to do with it. Hmm. Okay, tell me now, is it wrong for one to be in love? Princess, I didn't say so. I only flashed my mind back on how aggressive you were at first. But here you are, looking so happy at last. Okay, okay, that's enough. Um, Naomi, you will agree with me that life is full of sorrows and happiness. I mean, life is full of ups and downs. Yeah, you're right. Very right. <laughs> okay, so can we change the subject for something new? Oh, okay, no problem. Natty, Natty. <laughs> Let's just go. She's in love. <laughs> Congratulations to the newly wedded couple. In addition to my numerous wedding gifts to you, I hereby give you the key to the mansion at number 13A, Ojumba Street. <laughs> that is your new place of residence. Thank you so much, Johan. <laughs> This is His Royal Majesty, the King of Ezulu Kingdom. May I know who I'm speaking with? 
Yes, that's my daughter, the princess of the palace. Yeah, that's her husband. Why all these questions? What? Accident. Where did it happen? Okay. Thank you, Doc, for the information. Please take good care of them. I'll see you shortly. Your Highness, I heard you mention accident. I was just informed by an unknown doctor that the princess and her husband were involved in a ghastly accident. What? Last night. Accident? How? The question is not necessary, woman. The best we could do now is to find a way to go to the hospital. Tony. Yes, my lord. Go and tell the driver to arrange any available car. We are going out immediately to the hospital. really going on. I'm still surprised at this condition. Why would this pretty comment before my princess in the night after her wedding? Could it mean that someone is behind this? What did I do to the person who has just inflicted this pain on my princess? This is really a bad omen to my princess and the entire palace. Yes, it is. you feel right now. But, but tears would not solve an inch of this problem. We just have to accept it in good faith. Because God knows best. How? How, 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 how do I how do I accept this? How, how do I live the rest of my life on a wheelchair? How do I live with this? My whole life is now in shambles. Knowing that I'm going to live on this wheelchair. I can't even come to terms with this reality. Ow. Oh. My love, please. Oh. Please. Please, it's okay. Please. As your wife, I am part and parcel of this predicament. I promise. 
promise I will stand by you all through. But please. This was not the way I planned my life. Oh. God, I'm I understand how you feel right now. And I want you to also remember that God knows why it happened this way. Please, you have to pull yourself together so as to console your husband at all times. Please. Please. Oh, me, who did we offend? Where did we go wrong? Each time, each time I see my husband in this condition, it, it breaks my heart. Just, just when we finally became one, same day, this happened. I mean, I am, I am emotionally unbalanced right now. I can't, I can't even do anything properly. We do. It's okay. It's okay. Life is full of ups and downs. You're not the first to find yourself in this situation. Please, you have to pull yourself together. Especially in situations like this. We are trying. I'm, I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. Baby, what is it again? I have told you time without number that this is a situation we cannot help. I mean, your daily lamentation over this situation makes it look as if I'm inconsequential. And my love, I don't find it pleasing at all. Baby, I understand you perfectly. But I, I appreciate every effort you make to make me make me go through this but the truth is I I didn't get married to you to become a liability to you I got married to you so we can be happy and compliment each other I'm not to subject you to this this kind of stress it, it breaks my heart it tears me apart to see you go through this every day considering the fact that I'm, I'm confined to this wheelchair I'm useless and helpless Listen, my love, you are not a liability to me, rather a liberty. I don't care if I'm being subjected to stress. My love, all I want is your happiness. I promise to give you care, with or without your predicament. Please. Thank you. Thank you for standing by me and giving me those encouraging words, but can I ask you a question? Yes, go ahead. You've always told me to be strong, to be happy with my life, irrespective of my condition, to, to make the best out of my condition. What if I may ask you? What is the what is the essence of this life without a child to show for it? Um I I actually came to tell you that lunch is served. We'll talk about this later.
Won't you at least smile for me? You know I love you, right? I love you too. Ask you. What is the what is the essence of this life without a child to shoot for it? what my husband told me a few days ago. My husband looked me on the face and told me that his happiness is gone. I, I couldn't even believe it. Princess, due to his condition, he's bound to say anything. You just have to accept it as a woman, else you will have a broken home. The height of it is that he always complains about his, his inability to father a child. And that is where I'm bothered. You have to make him believe that God works in mysterious ways. Miracle can still happen, you know. Then, then maybe God should just, maybe he should calm down and handle this issue. I'm tired. Tell me, I am tired. I mean, I have done virtually everything to, to take his mind off the subject. Yes, yes, he wouldn't let it be. He wouldn't. I'm tired. I think I have a solution to this. Why not? I mean, why not suggest an adoption to him? Maybe it will make him feel better. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think you're right. I should give it a trial. I should talk to him about it. Please do. And please, be rest assured that nothing comes and lasts forever. Okay? Cheer up, baby. Cheer up. Just... I know. I'm just tired. I know. I mean, how could this befall me? It's okay. okay. It's okay. Cheer up. Everything will be alright. Okay? Cheer up. Stop crying. Thank Smile you. for me. Smile. <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Go ahead, I'm listening. I've thought about this thoroughly, and I've slept over it. And, and I've come to the conclusion that this is the only solution to our problems. I, I think we should go for an adoption. Please, if this is the suggestion you want to make, I, I'm sorry, I won't approve of it. Why? My lord, why? I mean, I see you wallow in pain and regrets every day. But darling, this is affecting me also. That is why I, I came up with this suggestion. This idea is not going to work, don't you get it? The very suggestion you're making is the reason I'm depressed, I'm sulky, I'm a sad person. I would buy it, I'm sorry. I... I don't... I don't understand you. How do you mean? 
Please, my son. I must say, tell you that studying at Noah is the best thing that we ever has. And that was why I could not resist my mother's decision of taking the abroad. So I must say, you are really privileged to have to and congratulations. of the soil. So you people shouldn't do it like this now. Shut up and listen to me. What do you know about the tradition? You're still a child. Uh, maybe after delivery, if she might go, she may come back. If the dog wants, she can still stay there. Yes. So you see, you see the reason I, I don't want to buy this idea. An adopted child is almost like a stranger. The child is not valued, not recognized, and I, I do not want that for any offspring under my roof. Sometimes I just, feel, I just feel like giving up. I just feel like taking my life and ending it all. You, you don't have to say that. That is a very strong word to use. The all I want you to do now is give this, this idea of your head and not just something positive. Let's hope that's something Yes, 
I'm fine. I was just talking to God silently about our predicaments, hoping he'll hear us. Can you please help me with my drugs? Okay, I'll do just that. Get me those items. Okay, sir. And if there's anyone you don't find at the mall, you, you check in other shops. Okay, sir. Sweetheart, I know this will come as a shock to you, but you just have to accept it. Because I cannot live in memories of the past any longer. I appreciate and commend your care and tolerance so far. But you have to believe me that this is not existence. Please, baby. My predicament has completely prompted me going to the great beyond. And I just have to comply with it. I love you, sweetheart. Do take care till we meet to part no more. requested that my daughter and her husband be brought to the palace so that you break the news before all of us as you told me yesterday in your office. Well, thank you very much, Your Highness, for this wisdom you've exuded. You know, this kind of news could be received with utmost displeasure. 
So the presence of this royal family will cushion the effect. Uh, that is true. So let's have it. Chris, Mr. Chris, I want to... I want to go straight to the point. If it were anything money would have solved, I think we did our best. His Highness here did his best. So, let's just say it's the act of God. Oh, please, Doctor, go straight and tell us what the problem is. Mr. Chris, you're not the only person in this condition. There are people in worse condition. The point is, due to your condition, you might be confined to a wheelchair for the rest of your life. <gasps> You, what, what are you saying? Hi. Jesus. Jesus. But that, that has been the situation on the ground. I mean, there is nothing he thinks about other than taking his own life. Why would he think of a thing like that? Taking his life? When we know that God can still do something. Huh? You need to always be beside him so that he won't actualize this unfortunate act of his. He needs a pastor. He needs someone that will tell him things about life and probably give him the, the opportunity to understand what faith is all about. But that I have tried. I have tried. There is nothing I haven't done. I have tried absolutely everything to, to bring back happiness in his life. But, but everything just, just seems to just seems to go the other way. Nothing is working. My dear, stop crying. You are not alone in this. It can happen to anyone. It is rather circumstance in our life we cannot do without. to do is put yourself together. <laughs> you have to be courageous so that you'll be able to face it all. Mother, my husband doesn't see it from that aspect. He doesn't. And that is where I am affected. I, I, do, I don't know what else to do. I, I it's do. okay. It's I'm okay. Trying. It's okay. Everything will be fine, okay? It's just that this past keep haunting him. But believe you me, everything will return to normal son. I hope so. It will. It will. So, I hope so. It will. So. It will. So. So. Mother, please, I actually called you because I want us to discuss something very important. It's okay. Go ahead. I'm listening. Mother, you know, as your daughter, you would always want my happiness, right? Of course. Why won't I? And my happiness and that of my husband lies in your heart. <laughs> my princess, just go ahead and tell me what it is and it will be granted. I am your mother and I can do anything for you. problem? How dare you not trust such satanic thoughts in your mind? How dare you? Mother, I, I'm so sorry. 
I'm sorry, but, but take a look at hey. take a look at me. Look at my husband. Mother, that child will bring so much joy back to my family. Mother, please, I beg you, we cannot do without him. Please, just this favor. I'm sorry, your request cannot be granted. I mean, it has gone far beyond what can I what, what are you doing? Get up, get up, get up. Mom, I, 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 please, you know, under normal circumstance, I wouldn't ask for such favor. But mother, look, look at look at everything happening. Life has taken it. Stop! I don't give a damn over whatever reasons you have. I can't do it. Let it get into your head. The earlier you understand it, the better for you. Wants to get up, get up! What are you saying? As far as I'm concerned, this discussion is closed. Get, get up and go, get up, get up! What is your problem? Are you correct? Are you listening to yourself at all? Get out, get out, get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! After all this, yes. Hey, princess, what has come over you? Oh, madam, what makes you think that this tax will be carried out easily? Hey, I will not allow you to bring disgrace to the royal family. I will not. Allow you. The earlier you look for eternity, the better for you. Yes. Hi. Ajife. Ajife. And that was how everything happened. I found it very difficult to accept you back. I felt you took advantage of me. I was emotionally drained when I found out I was pregnant. And based on my age then, my mother, she completely took advantage of me. I tried to tell me. You and I had a child together years back. Yes. So, so where's the child? Where's the child so we can we can go get him back? And how do we go about it? I know you didn't understand me when I said my mother took advantage of me. The child is in the palace. Oh. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you so much for making me a witness to this day. Thank you. So I have a son after all. I'm so happy. So w w when do I go with you to the palace? Or would you rather handle that yourself? No, no, it's it's fine. I'll, I'll handle it. I can take care of it. Sweetheart, you don't know what you have done to me today. You have brought life back into my soul. I am grateful for this. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> you know what? I am no longer going to do any lamentations and sorrow. I will be happy from this day. I will no longer go down that lane of depression no more. Because you have, you have brought back life into me, okay? And I am grateful for that. I promise to live with you and live for you till the end. You have proven to me that I'm still a man. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. <laughs> would lose in many When a song of sorrows is playing And joy is cast out of the window oh. Heaven Love go away Cause I'm losing
Losing my fate Losing my hope Princess, I am warning you for the very last time. Let this matter lie low. Else you will regret having me as your mother. No, mother, I won't. I won't. You cannot withhold my happiness and expect me to go silent. Mother, as your daughter, I expect my happiness to be of greater concern to you, not the other way round. What business of mine is that? You don't go to Masam. When you and your husband are supposed to go for honeymoon, you these new people decided to throw a party that resulted to the present state of, his, of your husband. Can go to Basam? Mother, please, I beg you. I beg you, let us not deviate from the matter on ground. All I want is my child. He is my son, mother. Why, why, why are you becoming this hostile to me? What did I do to you, mother? I should be asking you that. I thought we've ended this matter mutually. Wait though. Princess, why are you becoming so hostile to Mother, me? Mother, I am not becoming hostile to you. You are the one who's becoming hostile to me. Just let me have my son. You took advantage of me because I was still a teenager when this whole thing happened. You took great advantage of me. Mother, I must confess that was not right. Eh? Mother. When did you change from that, that caring, that soft mother I used to know when? <laughs> I'm warning you. Don't you push me hard. Don't even try it. Because if you do, I am not going to leave any stone unturned in my decision towards you. Really? Don't you? Right. Is that a threat? Well, mother, I don't give a hoot about your threats. All I want is my son. And the sooner you give me back my son, the better for us all and that of the entire family. Oh, yeah, Kai Kwon, you're threatening me. Let's see how it goes. Oh, yeah? Leave my room. You're done with the threats. Let's start it here. Leave my room. Leave my room. This is not right. Leave my room. Leave my room. This is not right. Let's start with it now. Let us start. Let's start. Hey. When a song of sorrows is playing and joy is cast out of the window. Heaven, can I ask you, when will this cloud go away? Cause I'm losing my fate, I'm losing my hope. Oh. Uh, my dear, I really don't understand you by what you said of us coming into terms with the princess and her husband. Your Highness, what I mean is that you should try and give them a helping hand. Because from what I observe, I think that the princess is being affected psychologically uh, um, for their present condition. But I have always taken care of them. I know. I know, Your Highness. But um, I think they need a change of environment. What do you think? I think you're right. I think you're right. That means I have to invite the husband so that we can deliberate on that. Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. So how is my prince doing in school? He's okay. There's no problem. Chris, I know exactly how you feel right now. But I want to assure you that hence there is life, there is hope. All hope is not lost. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you so much for all your support and words of encouragement all this while. I deeply appreciate it. And secondly, I have made up my mind to send you and your wife on a trip abroad. 
it is up to you to decide on when you want that done so that I can make the necessary arrangements. Well, once again, thank you, Highness. That's, that's, that's good news. But um, I'm sorry, we might have to wait till my son is back from school before we consider that. Your son? How do you mean by that? Okay. I remember. You had a son elsewhere, right? Uh, that's good news. So where is he now? Um, well, Father, we had a son together. You had a son with you? Yes, Father. Um, remember some years ago when I got pregnant? Chris here was responsible for the pregnancy. So, now that we are together, I, I decided to tell him the truth. The truth about what? I thought that pregnancy was terminated. N no, Father, it wasn't. Ma Mother actually took advantage of that pregnancy. I still don't understand what you are talking about. But I know, I know what I'm about to say might sound very, I know you might not believe what I'm about to tell you, but um, the prince, I mean the prince of his Zulu kingdom, is my son. Shut up! Shut up! How dare you cook up such unfounded story? Is this a blackmail or what? Father, it's not. I'm, I'm serious, Father. I, I know this, this might be hurting to you, but that's the truth, Father. He is my child. No, this is not my princess talking. I think you need a psychiatrist. We have to do something as fast as possible before this mess gets out of hand. I initially told you that her husband's health present condition is affecting her sense of reasoning. But you wouldn't listen. Now see, if you had sent them abroad like I suggested, all this wouldn't have happened. I said it that this whole thing is not natural. Who knows if he had bewitched the princess with his family cause? Because she's not the same princess I used to know. Eh? I think she's under a spare. And I must do something real fast before it escalates into something else. Your Highness, the point now is what do we do? Since they've completely rejected your offer, what are we going to do? Well, I suggest you leave this whole thing to me. I know the best way to handle a man like Chris. I'll make him understand that he cannot put a spell on my daughter just for him to penetrate the royal family and go scot-free. He will pay for all of this. I have an idea. What if, if we stop the prince from coming back from school that's visiting home? They may see less of him. What no. do you think? No. That is not the best thing for us to do. You know why? Because it will appear as if their claim is right. Why it's obvious that he charmed my daughter. Oh, Chris! Chris! Oh, Chris! Chris, you pay dearly for this. I'll make you pay for this. Sweetheart, whatever you're going to do, you have to do it very fast. Yes. Chris, you want to drag the name of this royal family to rubbles. You are daring fire. I bet you he can never succeed. <sighs> it will not happen. Not in my family. And not with my daughter. Princess, 
So you went ahead to tell the king after my warnings. You have completely stepped on a viper's tail. And it will not only hurt you, but swallow you. I reject it, mother. Because you are the one who initiated this whole idea from the onset. Mother, you took advantage of my teenage age. And now you want me to bear the brunt? No. I won't. I won't, mother. I see. In that case, be ready to dance the rhythm with me. Because I will not let you destroy all I've planned all this years. I will not let you destroy it in a twinkle of an eye. Fine. If that is how you want it, it's fine. But then we shall see who dances better. Chris, one your wife. Because no one will blame me for what will happen to her. How could you talk to your daughter in that manner? What you have just said is a threat to her, to me as well, you know. I mean every word I just said now. Let us sink into your brain. Good day. What is going on here? Why is everyone against the idea of us having our son back? Why? Calm down, baby. That is the cause of everything. She went as far as introducing my son as the prince of his new kingdom. From the look on her face, she meant every single word she said here. It's okay, my love. I understand my mother better. It's okay. I'm just confused. I. I don't know when this is getting to this point. It's okay, please. You went as far as conniving with your husband so as to tarnish the image of this kingdom. I will teach him a lesson he will never forget in his life. Father, Father, please, you have to believe me. You have to believe me. I am not under a spell. I know what I am saying, Father. Father, the life of my husband is at stake. I beg you, I can't afford to lose him. You. Your husband can die for all I care. All I know is that I will make sure he suffers for the rest of his life. For daring me, the king of Israel kingdom. Do you realize I am your daughter? And as his wife, you are talking to me as well. Did you also realize the fact that I'm your father? Before uttering these unprintable words before my prison. Father, my words are not lies, they are the truth. I swear, I am not lying. I'm not lying, Father. Shut up now and leave my presence. You're ordering me out of the palace? Have you forgotten that I am the princess of this kingdom? Not until you appear in your right sense, as the princess I used to know. But now, I know you're not. So leave. Please. Please, you can't do this to me. I beg you, please. I say leave my presence. Now. Tony! Here is the letter I was asked to deliver to you, sir. Okay, can I have it? I'll take my leave. Okay, thank you, 
I know why you are here. I just took the first step in bringing you back to your senses. And if I find out you're not trying to comply, I won't be left with no choice than to do something drastic. Father, why are you doing this? Why? Why have you chosen to humiliate me? Is it because I said the truth? If you truly know the meaning of that word, you wouldn't have used it on me yourself. You took my leniency for cowardice. And I will not tolerate you bringing shame to this kingdom. I am your father, the king of this kingdom. And my opinion, my orders must be respected. Able to the extent of inflicting such a, such a horrible condition on your own daughter. I don't give a damn to whom it may concern. What have I done to deserve this? You used to treat me as, as, as the princess of this kingdom. Why the sudden change of attitude? Why? And what do you mean by that? I'm asking you. You made an inconceivable statement and you expect me to believe it just like that. And I will not go back on my words. I won't take them back. The happiness of my husband and I lies in this palace. I won't take my words back. Then think twice. Think twice because it is not achievable. It can never be achieved. Father, I will see to the root of this argument. I will see to it. Mrs. Chris, I know this might be a surprise to you, but I have to tell you this. You know we are employed in this company through the help of your father, who happens to be my old schoolmate. Yes. He called me last night and told me to terminate your appointment in this company. I tried to clarify for him what his reason is. But he ended up saying that you staying in this company is at my own risk. I have no option than to do what he said. To avoid her dying on at last. This 
is your sack letter. And I advise that you go to him and sort it out with him. I don't really know what is the problem. But whatever happens, he is still your father. I know you can sort it out with him. Thank you. Yeah, hurry up! Bring that everything out! Hurry! The king, your father, instructed me to get the car keys from you. Can I have it now? Tony, are you out of your mind? What gives you the right to speak to me in that manner? I'm sorry. I'm only carrying the orders of the king. Princess, please do not argue with them. I'm, I'm, I'm begging you, please. Can I have the keys? Now you listen Shh. to me. Take these things inside or you will regret it. Now! That is not the subject matter. You better hand over the keys peacefully or I take it first. Will you go back to the king and tell him I am not giving you? Oh! Now! Prince, how are you? Good day, my queen. How are you? I'm fine. Father, how about my sister, the princess? I haven't seen her for a while. I hope she's fine. She's fine? Yes, she is. I think the most important thing now is for you to go upstairs and eat your food. Because I know you must be famished. Yeah. Your favorite meal is at the diner. So go and eat, okay? See you. Okay. Your Highness, yes, how did he go? You know what the king is capable of doing. I have completely broken down his wings. For him to fly again, that will be in his next world. Yes, that's good. But seriously, I'm surprised that our princess will be in support of such a deceitful act. I've told you that the princess is not in her right senses. That boy has influenced her with a charm. But since she has decided to be stiff-necked, I think she had better join him. 
Yes. You know me, I want to thank you very much for giving us shelter. May God bless you. I really appreciate it. I mean, we really appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, what are friends for? All I need from you is to have a strength room so you can go away with all these problems, okay? Temperature, my king. Hey, it's okay. Does that mean the doctor is not competent enough to know what the problem is? I think we need to send him to a specialist. Yes, yes. Whatever you want to do, let it be fast paced. Uh, slow down, woman. If we try this and it doesn't work, the next option is to fly him abroad for a proper medical checkup. If I tell you that I am not confused about this whole thing, then I'm lying. I called you here to advise me on what to do. Because I'm very adroit of words. <sighs> Your Highness, from what I saw, I think the Prince needs a different kind of medical treatment. Flying him abroad is not the best idea for him. All we have to do is to put us together and find a way out. So do you have any solution in mind? Because we need to save his condition now before it gets worse. Uh, I suggest we take him to a herbalist so we can try the herbs medication. I think I appreciate your suggestion. But what I do not accept is my prince going over to the native doctor. You know how these native doctors are. They will immediately ask him to sleep over. Meanwhile, the solution to the problem will not be proffered. So I suggest he comes here to administer the medication on my prince. Uh, well, your highness, either way is okay. But the most important thing now is for us to get solution to his problem. And that should be our basic concerns for now. So when are we expecting to go for this harvest? JK mm. Market Day will be due for that. Thank you, Ichi, for your humble suggestion. Your hand, take this. Use it on him. Morning and night. Why is what? Yes, Your Highness. Are you sure this will see the end of his problem? As long as he uses it as a straw tape, there won't be any problem. Thank you very much, wise one. Thank You're you. You're welcome. I should take my leave now. Your Majesty, I greet. It will be a bad omen if an elderly person is at home and a goat delivers a tetas. What I am saying in effect is that the prince that our ancestors gave to us is about to die and we have to do something about it fast. Well, it is no doubt that this is the reason we all gathered here today. We know what it took us to have a prince. So we cannot allow this great opportunity to slip away from us just like that. Your Highness, in that case, I suggest we consult a government because this case is beyond 
an ordinary native doctor. Well, my people, if I tell you that I am not worried about this whole thing, I'm lying. But I want to thank all of you for your suggestions. Thank you, Your Majesty. Because it proves to me that we are one. My lord, the prince's illness has gone beyond one's imagination. Uh, what do you mean by that? The queen is crying her eyes out right as I speak to you and has ordered me to get you immediately. <sighs> I am still confused about Obuebini's statement concerning this issue. Where on earth could it have come from? Because all I know that in Ezulu Kingdom, we are always living in peace. Or could it be something we know nothing about? It's here. I am totally confused myself. Your Highness, there is something I want to ask you. And what could that be? What about the princess? And why hasn't she visited her dying brother all this while? Because I have expected to see her, but I did not. She has decided to stay away as a married woman. So I am not going to run after her. Do you mean to say you are having a quarrel with your daughter, the princess? Please tell me the truth. Ichi, I had an argument with my daughter. It is not necessarily a quarrel. Your Highness, Aside the princess, can you think of any other differences you are having with some other persons? <laughs> Ichi Onye Norwe, you know me very well. As the king of Ezulu Kingdom, what character am I portraying if I should be quarreling with my people or having differences with them? What kind of character am I portraying as a king? It, does, it is all right then. We have to summon Ogwebi and tell him to do the necessary things so we could know where this confusion is coming from while you send for your daughter, the princess. Yes. Chiyatazu hmm. not the bad man. Chiyatazu not the your Highness, hmm? I am sorry. The thin line is divided. He is gone. Eh? Gone? Gone where? Why is gone? You have to do something. He cannot go. He cannot go anywhere. <coughs> 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 My priest! Your Highness, Your Highness, please forgive me. I'm sorry. He is not my son. Yeah? Yes. Ask again. Hello, Melo. Hey! Woman, you are evil. You must bear with your own blood. No, no, yeah. It go on, go on, go on, go on. My princess, I don't want your father to take in a second wife. That's why I am suggesting you keep this pregnancy. I wish he's a male child. I will treat him like my own son. You see, princess, this secret must be between me and you. No one else should hear about it. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Good. Your Highness, please. Please. Please forgive me. I never allowed you to touch me because the pregnancy was fake. Please. Please forgive me.
Please forgive me. I'm the one that masterminded Peter's act. Hey. Okay. You sent for me. Yes. There is an assignment and I want you to carry out for me. Okay, my as a servant in the palace, I will do whatever that will please you. Good. I want you to be rest assured that once this job is done, you will be handsomely rewarded. Okay, my queen. <laughs> Peter. My queen. I want to ask you, what will two million naira do in your life? Two million naira? My queen, a lot. I will buy so many things with it. I will take care of my mother, my father, my sisters. I will buy so many things with it, my queen. Um, my queen, but what kind of job will I do that will warrant me to earn such amount of money? Simple. Very simple job. Come, let me tell you. Your Highness, you obviously see why I said he does not belong here spiritually. You just have to let him go. Your Highness, you have to think less because she took the cross upon herself and she has to bear it alone. Hello. She's here to see you. Rita, what are you doing here? Ego. I was pregnant for you when I was wrongly accused and forced out of the palace. This is Chidubem, my son, and also yours. He has been anxious all these years that I should bring him to his biological father. So that's what we are here. Please forgive me, please. Please. Under 
Standing, dear standing. 